Hello, I'm Josh Ehrenberg, and welcome to this quarantined entertainment edition of Your Canyons News. Firefighters work to stop the Jake fire from spreading any further. During this difficult time, it's hard to find an experience quite like what Disney can offer. But one Santa Clarita resident had something magical up their sleeve. With Disneyland closing indefinitely due to the coronavirus, meeting your favorite princess seems impossible. However, Santa Clarita resident and freelance princess performer Samantha Raskin wanted to change that. It's just really important to me to spread a little joy and do what I can um, when everyone is dealing with so much right now. So I thought it would be a great way to spread a little sunshine. <laughs> Sammy went out dressed as the Disney princess Rapunzel from the movie Tangled and met with children from a safe distance, a curbside meet and greet. There were at least 60 cars in the first hour. I kind of lost count after a while. There were so many cars, it was incredible. Thanks to the community groups on Facebook and the neighbors getting the word out, it wasn't as difficult as she had anticipated. It ended up being a lot easier because the community just came and supported it with open arms and it was wonderful. So the only thing I really had to do was set up a chair. <laughs> And while Raskin stood outside for hours in a bright purple dress and a long blonde wig, the entire experience was as magical for her as it was the children. Honestly, something I'm never going to forget. Just when they drove up and like couldn't believe that Rapunzel was there, it was magical. For Canyons News, I'm Josh Ehrenberg. Now, unfortunately, Sammy won't be putting the blonde wig on for a while, as she believes in order to have more magical experiences, we need to social distance and stay inside. DreamWorks and Universal released their newest film, Trolls World Tour, just not in theaters. They dropped the movie a week early on digital streaming services, since they would have to delay the film if they wanted a theatrical release. According to Universal, the film is the highest grossing video on demand in history. Santa Clarita local and head of effects on the film, Steve Wood, felt this was the best possible outcome for the film. I was in support of it the whole time. Um, it um, produced 10 times better than was expected, which is really exciting. And the other thing too is I think it came out at a really good time. You know, it's a really fun, lighthearted movie, not only for children, but for adults. It has a really good message and I think we all need that right now. So. I actually think the timing of it coming out was perfect. You can rent Trolls World Tour now. There's a lot of beauty in the modeling industry, but now international model and singer Anna Jane Jackson wants to share some of the ugliness behind it. When you look at the modeling industry, you usually see glamorous people walking down the runway and doing so with passion. What you don't see for the most part is the struggles that come with it. And while some may think those struggles are just as slim as the models themselves, They'd be very wrong. I was overworked and I just experienced a lot of things that a young 16 year old girl should not have to go through. Model, singer, actor, and former Santa Clarita resident Anna Jane Jackson released a new song titled Vlada Song. It's about her negative experiences modeling in China, as well as the death of another model. A young girl named Vlada had died and she was placed at the same agency that I was placed at. And so I just felt like I really needed to speak up for what I went through so that nobody else had to go through that too. Why does it take a young girl dying to even be deep worth trying? At only 16, Anna Jane was actually forced out of a van into the street, given an address in Chinese, and had to find the place all on her own. She also recalled times where she was lined up with other underage models in bikinis and got their bodies thoroughly examined. Alongside that, some clients wouldn't even let the models drink water and would yell at them if they did. I think a lot of people who have that power take advantage of their power, um, and it can be very brutal. And after four years of holding back, she finally felt ready for the world to hear her story and to know the importance of treating others with respect. We're trying to sell clothes, but we need to look at the health and sanity of the model first and foremost. For Canyons News, I'm Josh Aaron.
And that's the latest in the Canyons newsroom. My name is Josh Ehrenberg. Be sure to follow us on Twitter and Facebook and check out more stories on canyonsnews.com. Stay classy, Santa Clarita.